What does $25 million buy you? Would it buy you a multi-billion dollar company? We're gonna jump in that article here in a minute, but hello everyone, my name is Troy and I'm from OG Cryptos and NFTs. Every day we go over the latest news in crypto and NFTs. If you like my content, hit that like button. Otherwise, subscribe to me. I'm gonna give you the best five minutes in crypto on Monday through Friday. Let's jump right in the first news article. Are you kidding me? FTX is closing in on a deal to buy and battle crypto lender BlockFi for $25 million? Did Sam Bankman Free just pull something out of his butt? I'm not sure. I'm assuming that if he's gonna buy it on a fire sale like this, that he's gonna make all the investors whole, or he's gonna go to the creditors and he's gonna pay them a much higher debt, but just higher money on what their debt is. We're gonna find out. But I do actually want to see what's happening with the other owners of BlockFi. I know Pomp owns is is a is partners in this, and he'll get wiped out as well as everybody else. So this is going to be huge. Now today, a lot's been coming out about Three Arrows Capital. We're finding out more and more that a lot of these lending platforms were all intertwined with each other. And then when Three Arrows Capital, you know, went down. Now we're finding out that you know companies like BlockFi, Voyager, even Genesis Capital now is hurting. Genesis Capital tweeted today that they lost hundreds of millions of dollars over Celsius as well as Three Arrows Capital. So it's been it's just becoming a nightmare in this in this space. I think there's a lot more pain to come. July is really going to see. I think the dominoes fall. Yes, and the man who started it all, the man, the myth, the legend, Do Kwon, and his attitude and his Luna UST, that collapse has caused this great domino effect throughout this industry. Next article, I love it. Now, I wasn't in the industry, you know, seven, eight years ago, but I did see, I think it was either a Netflix or Hulu special on this lady. So it says, FBI adds Crypto Queen to the 10 most wanted fugitives list after alleged four billion one coin fraud. Go ahead, the next article. Here she is, infamous Ruja Ignatova is pursued by the FBI. Top 10, uh, top 10 in the world? Wow, she's pretty, she's made it to the top 10. I mean, I'm kind of surprised. I get it, the investors, you know, back in 2014, 2015, they're all gone, right? It's just that money's gone and most of them have just moved on with their lives. But apparently we need to go find her. Now, she's been dodging the bullet now for quite a while. But if we bump her to the top 10 and we start giving out some outrageous amount of money, uh, you know, booty for her, well, maybe we'll see her pop up in handcuffs. But it's it's funny to bring her back now after seven years of, of a lot of people putting that bad memory to bed. Next article is coinbase now this is this is pissing me off and it should be pissing off every single person in coinbase that has a coinbase account coinbase is reportedly selling geolocation data to ice this is bullshit are you telling me they're selling off my data to ice what next the irs and the, the government i mean they're gonna be you know i'm gonna be locked looked at and watched this is bullshit. It says Watchdog Group Tech Inquiry reported the new details about a three-year con contract with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. This is bullshit. I mean, I should be able to opt into this. I shouldn't just automatically happen. If that's a fact, I think Coinbase is going to be in a world of hurt. Pulling the money off of their, their exchange is going to happen in droves if this is true and that they're not going to have me opt into this. We're gonna find out here, but it is not cool. I, I hate this, and this is what we should hate about crypto. Next article, breaking news. Now this happened last night, you know, but we're gonna still kind of pop it up here on Cointelegraph. It says, Grayscale launches legal challenge to Bitcoin spot ETF rejection. Now we understand that last night they got rejected. The SEC in all their brilliance is, is gonna reject it. It didn't matter. I don't care if they brought on some heavy, hit lo heavy hitter lawyers on their side to talk to the SEC, it didn't matter. Gary Gensler is in control. He has a, a world of hurt behind him because he has all this money 
that the government continues to, 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 to throw at him in his budget, and it's a bunch of crap. So what's the real outcome here? What's the real plan does Grayscale have? Now, let's say they sue him. It's going to take years. Let's go, let's go look at the Ripple case, even though it's ridiculous that some of the things that comes out of the SEC's mouth, and you know they're, gonna, they're, they're bound to lose this case, they're going to do the exact same thing with Grayscale. You just play it out. Now, Grayscale has the money to play it out, just like Ripple, which I don't think the SEC realized way back you know, in, in 2020 when they sued Ripple. Well, Grayscale has the money too, and it's a lot of money that the SEC has to throw at it. How many lawyers does the SEC have? And let's go one step further. How many quality lawyers does the SEC have? And then how much money does Grayscale want to throw at this? There's a lot going on here. I know that, you know, kind of reading through what the SEC said, a lot of it has to do with, you know, manipulation of the market. Well, <laughs> let's be let's be honest. We understand that crypto has manipulation. But why was it but there's ETFs, you know, spot ETFs everywhere in Canada, in Australia. I think there's one coming up in another country. They're they're all over the place. You know, if you actually read what the SEC says, why would the SEC grant any ETFs to anyone in gold or an ETF in, in the stock market, in a Tesla? Everything's being manipulated. What, what makes this anything any, any different than anything else? I don't get it. I just think this is a power move by Gary Gensler, and he knows what he can get away with. And right now, since there is no regulation, the Loomis bill is still just bouncing around in committees. He makes the rules but he won't tell you the rules. So he just does what he wants to do when he wants to do it. He has political aspirations. He's not here to help out crypto. He's here to bully people. That's what Gary Gensler is. Next article. Something lighter, NFT news, Mars Inc. trademarked Snickers, Eminem NFTs, digital tokens, and cryptocurrency. Pretty funny here, but you know, as, as we see adoption continue to, to work through our system, you know, we see Mattel, you know, you know, a Nickelodeon. Now we're seeing candy bars being NFTs. Guys, it's here to stay. This is not even really what the use case is for NFTs. We haven't even got there. I'm going to probably make a video on the use case, the future use case of NFTs, but I think that we're just seeing it everywhere. I'm just want to report on it real quick. Next article is, KB Lane, I think that's his name, Binance Taps, TikTok's most silent superstar, KB Lane, to explain how crypto works. Love it, I love it. TikTok stars, they are just going after it at this point. They had Ronaldo a couple weeks ago. They are trying to bring in the popular, you know, segment of the population, the hipsters, the young Gen Zs, they want to see those the millennials come in and they want to show them that Binance is the best exchange out there. We just saw Coinbase now selling off, you know, people's information. And now Binance wants to be the hipster exchange for everybody. So got to like it. I, I like to see them. They keep moving forward. Love it. Next article. Well, this is a tweet from Fat Man that just came out today. And I thought this was, this is crazy. Again, Three Arrows Capital is Suzu was the head of it. And this is what Fat Man just came out today. A verified source has confirmed that Suzu is urgently trying to sell his $35 million house in Singapore, currently held in his son's trust. So he's dodging that bullet, thought about it in advance. He requested the funds to be transferred to a bank in Dubai and has no intention of paying creditors with proceeds from the sale. Well, welcome to crypto, guys. When there's no regulation, you get this kind of guy that's running billion dollar funds out there, taking your money and screwing everybody. And now he's running. Thank God crypto is not a country. It's not based out of a country. It's based out of the world. And with all the younger generation being involved in it, anywhere you go or whatever you do is now being tracked. We're seeing this out there. I hope he gets caught and he gets put in jail, especially in Singapore. He broke, he lied to the Singapore authorities about his company and they're after him as well. And so he's fleeing the country as soon as possible with as much money as he can. I don't know if he can get asylum in Dubai, but that seems like what he's really looking for. Well guys, 
So the, thank you very much for joining us. Hit that like button if you enjoy this. Also, check out my Instagram. I put up news information over there. Throw a few canvas up and Instagram Insta graphics. Also check out my reels. I go over a few other outside you know, uh, articles that I don't really go over here. I'll do a few of those on a daily basis. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow on Friday. Guys, have a fantastic day.